Hello, this is Turquoise, uh, or Turquoise, if you'd like to pronounce it in French. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I want to say something about, I want to share something with you that I really have been enjoying doing that I'm going to have to give up doing now, and I'll tell you why. Um, I live in San Diego, and I like to listen to the organ. Um, I got this program, sorry if it's backwards, I'm having trouble uh, figuring out how to adjust my camera so that um, it will read it will read the uh, video properly. I don't know if I'm if I can adjust the video maybe after I make it before I put it up, but please forgive me if I can't do that. This is the Organ Festival and I was frankly looking very forward to enjoying the concerts in San Diego. I've been wanting to thank the Organ Society for putting them on. Uh, the Sunday concerts year-round and the uh, summertime Monday concerts and working with the concerts in the park, the Twilight shows um, Tuesdays through Thursdays. Now, um, wow, you guys, they've worked hard and yeah. At last though, and I also want to thank them for, um, by the way, um, doing the uh, online concerts during the uh, COVID emergency, because uh, we would have missed hearing that organ music if um, they hadn't done it. Um, I noticed that they discontinued the online concerts on a regular basis after the emergency was over, and I was kind of sad about that, because um, there were times when um, I was still kind of recovering from the trauma of the emergency, and getting used to going out again besides uh, seeing my uh, girlfriend and uh, doing the essentials like grocery shopping and um, I wanted it to be hybrid but I thought okay uh, the organ society needs funding maybe they don't have enough funding for um, doing hybrid maybe they just need to do face-to-face -face. well I started going to the Monday concerts and although I understand this summer, although I understand that the uh, artists might appreciate us not recording the songs, recording the concerts, I know there's probably some uh, copyright issues and I'm careful not to um, record songs, you know, whole songs or record uh, concerts, you know, I don't want to do that to them. That, that might be disrespectful, that's a gray area. But I noticed for the past couple of uh, Mondays, they didn't want us to record any of it at all. They did not want us to um, record any part of the concert. And although part of me is still trying to understand and all that and be respectful of that and abide by the rules, another part of me thought, wait a minute, I've never run across these rules before, these kind of rules before, excuse me, I gotta drink my water, dehydrated. Um, I was kind of puzzled about it, about them really uh, being adamant about it. And because um, I've always enjoyed um, recording a few snippets here and there and taking a few pictures and sending them to my roommate because He's a partial shut-in, he has medical issues, he's tired a lot, and he can't uh, come with me. So the only way I can uh, take him with me is by sending him videos. Not whole songs, you know, I don't want to do that. And I'm not putting anything on YouTube. I, in fact, if I had anything on YouTube at all, I apologize, I'm taking them down. I did, I took them down. So. You know, but I want to be I wanted to be able to at least send a few little snippets or riffs to my roommate Bruce so he could enjoy a little bit of it too or enjoy the atmosphere so he could kind of be be there with me and um, that kind of bothered me a little bit that I couldn't I wasn't allowed to even do that and I was even wondering how uh, they were gonna you know, be patrolling the uh, audience, you know, circulating around the audience. I don't know if they were going to start flying uh, drones around. Oh, please forgive me, Organ Society. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm puzzled. 
this is not a complaint this is kind of an analysis kind of some feedback maybe, maybe something for the public you know if they're in San Diego or if they want to come to San Diego to hear the wonderful organ because um, I loved hearing it and recovering from agoraphobia and from the COVID emergency and the anxiety from it and my depression being augmented by the isolation and the lockdown I was ha I was happy to be able to go back to the park and uh, I was also having anxiety and being resensitized so it was hard for me to go back and now they have these rules but the one thing that really upset me the most was this I'm going to try and say this as graciously as possible this is uh, spelled backwards a little this is kind of written backwards a little bit because of the camera but here is the um, Thank you, Working Society, for this awesome program. Um, here's this. Here is the membership thing. Become a member. You might be able to surmise what this is. I'm just showing this to you guys so that you will believe me. Um, I don't know if you can read this backwards. Um, let me see. There is something called Young Artist. It says levels, levels of uh, membership. It says become a member. And it says what you can do to be a member. It costs like $5, I think. Um, and there's no benefits at all. You're just making a donation. There's no benefits at all. But look at this. Um, number two, level two, soloist. $35 to $59. Just, just you'll believe me. Here, it's kind of backwards. I hope you can read it a little bit. I'm sorry about the camera. But look at this, soloist. And it says here, Take my word for it. I don't know if you can read this, but take my word for it. I'm going to just hold, hold it up for a few moments so maybe you can read it, okay? If any of you are expert at reading something backwards, now listen up. I'm going to read it to you. It says, refrigerator magnet plus access to online concert. Now, is that why they don't have online concerts anymore? Do we have to be members of the Organ Society and spend $35 to $59? To have to go to an online concert now let me let me tell you something John D Spreckles I don't know everything about him or everything about his intentions but I understood as a San Diegan I understood as someone living in San Diego that he wanted the organ to be a free gift from the sugar heirs you know the sugar air or the Boston or I forget, please forgive me, I can't, I can't remember all this. They were, the organ was supposed to be free. I understand if the organ society needs to fund things. That's, that's fine and that's good and I wish to goodness I could, I could help out. But I don't have any money. I'm in debt right now. I'm living on benefits because I have a disability. So does my roommate. If we're shut in or out sick, I can barely even go out myself. It's very difficult for me. I have a bad hip. I've got a visual impairment. I don't have a lot of friends. I don't have any friends with cars. I don't drive. It would be good for me and my roommate. It would be good for my roommate, my partial shut-in roommate, to be able to access the concerts online. And it would be even better if I could, if I could send him little snippets of the concert and share it with him. I don't want to be disrespectful, but I think I have a little bit of a disagreeing thing going on. This is with all due respect, and forgive me raising my voice. But I'm I'm a little angry. I'm a little I'm a little disgruntled, and I'm and I'm very heartbroken, because and I and I feel almost like like we've forgotten what the Oregon Society stands for in this respect. No pun intended. The organ concerts are supposed to be free. Thank God they still are if you go face to face. But if you want to go if you want to go online, you have to pay for it. From now on, I'm going to watch uh, Aaron Shouse's organ concerts in LA. Thank you Aaron Shouse for having free online concerts and putting them on YouTube. I'm sorry if I can't fund your program. I'm Turquoise Etoile. Uh, you might have seen me if 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 you if you get a hold of this video, you might have seen me on your uh, videos. I was there uh, last Sunday, I think. Yeah, I think I was there last Sunday or last Saturday. 
uh, please refer to the timestamp on this video. But um, I hope the Organ Society can consider how this might be making shut-ins feel. I want shut-ins to know, and I want the shut-ins loved ones. I'm a loved one of a shut-in outside that door there. That poor bloke can barely even go to the grocery store. He's older than I am. He's 20 years old. I'm 56 and he's 20 years older than me. He can barely get around. And get around. And he's been wanting to go. I would like him to have access to the organ concert online. I would like, I would like thousands, millions of Americans and San Diegans to be able to access the organ concert online for free. Just like the face-to-face. -face. The members of the Organ Society, I commend them for funding this whole project. I commend the Organ Society, but this one little thing, I'm not happy. And from now on, unless this changes, I'm no longer going to attend the concerts. I wanted to give you guys a moment to let that sink in. I'm not going to attend the concerts. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about this. And I'm putting this on YouTube. I apologize if this is a copyright violation, but I feel like this is a violation of what John D. Spreckles wished, what I wish, what San Diegans wish, like myself wish, what my roommate wishes, what Americans might wish if they want to come to San Diego and look at the concerts, or if they're sick or ill or disabled and they're unable to attend face to face. I want them to be able to watch it from their hotel rooms. I want them I want people to be able to watch them if they're laid up, sick or hurt or disabled or if they have covid, they're quarantined. Just like during the emergency, I want them to be able to see the concert for free. I don't want them to have to be members. I can't afford to be a $35 member to access the online concerts. I'm very upset about that. Because there, there were times when I, I needed to go online because back, back in April I had a very, very bad cold and I missed the concerts and um, I couldn't go. I didn't even know they were still going on for a price and um, I don't think that's supposed to, I don't think we're supposed to, I don't think we're supposed to um, charge money for any part of the concerts, any part of the organ. I don't mind if the Organ Society sells c CDs and sweaters and t-shirts and coffee mugs and coffee and whatever. I don't mind. I don't mind that. We have to fund them. Fund it. But uh, I wish we could find funds to have the concert online and available to everyone if you can't make face to face. There's got to be a way to pay for this, you guys. I'm gonna go now. Be safe, everyone. I'm not telling anyone to boycott the concert. I'm telling everybody what I'm planning on doing. I think I'm gonna write a letter to the city as well. My city council member and share this. I might bring this up with Balboa Park. I don't know. I might. I'm just saying I might. I don't know. But um, I appreciate Balboa Park for working with the Oregon Society. I appreciate the city of San Diego working with the Oregon Society, but, and I don't know if they're aware of this, maybe they are, very likely they are if they work with the Oregon Society, but if I were John D. Spreckles, I would be saying, oh my god, you know, it sounds like you guys need to fund yourselves so that you can keep having the online concerts. You should not be charging money for the concerts in any way, shape, or form. You can sell some products. But don't ever charge for the concerts. The organ is a gift. The organ is free. The concerts are free. Keep them that way. Be well, everyone. This is Turquoise signing off.